Hi, I'm Darren Leary, General Superintendent. Welcome to the 2019 Field Engineer Boot Camp. This year, we're at the Emergency Operations Center in Martinez, California. We have 40 participants this year. That's our largest class ever. And this year, we're focusing on getting back to the basics, building with more fundamentals, using our fundamentals on the control and layout that we do every single day. We are still building a wall, we're still placing a wall, and the field engineers are gonna have an awesome time out here. I'm most looking forward to the community of getting to know the other people from HP. Everyone's really supportive of one another, um, very resourceful. I think that when you're working as a team, you'll be able to overcome any obstacle. A good field engineer is a prepared field engineer, so I think it'll just make me better and self-sufficient at the job. Really, everything starts with the basics, the foundation and construction, and so getting this grassroots uh, base information is gonna help me in, in every aspect of my career. So the boot campers today were challenged with performing layout without the use of technology per se, really going back to the fundamentals. Initially they struggled. After a little bit of the guidance in the right direction, they achieved their end goal, which was to get the proper layout out on the boards. And they also were able to go back check with a secondary means, which is one of our fundamentals. Here we are at the end of day two, and by now almost all seven teams have been able to establish control for their wall, the face of wall and a grid line using the old school techniques. Each team's got a little bit different character, and I'm really looking forward to tomorrow where they get to build their wall. We're finishing up day three. We've got our concrete pump mobilized. We're waiting on a concrete truck. All seven teams are wrapping up their wall. They're doing their final quality control assessments and getting ready to place concrete. really good as a group during the pour. We were helping each other, just making sure that everyone was taking a part of it, but also didn't need any help while the pour was happening. The pace of the, the whole thing was, was difficult. We had plenty of time to think about it, but once it started, there was no time to think. You had to just keep moving. The weight of the hose is something to consider, and uh, the flashing, but it was pretty good. You know, I, I think we did a very good job.
best part of the boot camp was probably actually uh, the building the wall activity. I mean, there's a lot of challenges. It was pretty difficult and frustrating at some points, but I um, mean, getting through it and finally getting to the end is pretty, it's a good feeling of accomplishment. I definitely took away the importance of working as a team. I also learned about just having a greater appreciation for the craftsmen and for what they do. Absolutely blew my mind. Amazing experience. One of the best experiences of my life, without a doubt. I would definitely recommend it for all the FEs. They must do it, and it's, it's a good time. It's challenging, it's frustrating, but in overall, in the end, it's a great, really great experience for all of us. We just completed our largest boot camp in Northern California. The teams have all stripped their walls, cleaned up their area, and are eating lunch. We've picked a winner, and we're about ready to go celebrate.